another one um, right now we're headed to Coachella muffler custom exhaust uh, in Rockville Maryland uh, this would be the second mod I got done to the Durango um, me and the wife both agree this thing is uh too quiet guys um, especially coming from cars like you know the Hellcat uh, scat pack things like that you know loud obnoxious uh, this thing is incredibly quiet stock uh, when you get on it you accelerate you hear it a little bit but to me it sound like a, a no offense uh, Toyota Camry or something <laughs> I don't know why I use that reference a lot but yeah the car's just too quiet guys so I'm headed there right now gonna get some exhaust work done um, I think we're gonna go with straight pipes instead of putting a muffler on it things like that uh i told her that doing that she's gonna lose some of her fuel efficiency but she likes the way it sounds so she get what she want so i'm not even gonna argue with her because it does sound better than doing like a mid delete or a resonator delete on a durango um and we both like i said we both like a little grumble with the cars so i can't drive a quiet car I tried, trust me. I just can't do it. Like I think pretty much all of my performance cards have had some type of exhaust work done on it. Cause I like to be loud and obnoxious. Um, I know it sucks waking people up 4.30 in the morning, 4.45 in the morning when I gotta go to work, but I'm sorry neighbors. Uh, I pay this car note. So <laughs> I want my vehicle to sound the way I want it to. And eventually when we'll buy a house, uh, you know, I really don't care how loud my vehicle is then. And hopefully we got some space between us and the neighbors, you know, depending on which type of house or what location of the house uh, we're at um, when we buy it. So I'm um, looking forward to that. But in the meantime, in between time, we definitely got to make this thing louder, guys. So like I said, I'm headed there now. I'm probably about five, six minutes away. Hopefully this is a quick thing. They're normally quick in there and they normally could get me in early. If I get there early enough, um, they could get me in and get me out of there, you know, in an hour or less, hour, hour and a half at the max, but sometimes less than an hour depending on what I'm getting done. Um, but um, this is the, 20, the 2018 Durango RT. I'm pretty sure you guys could look up all different uh, exhaust comparison videos on the Durango, so no need for me to get all into it. You know how it sound, uh, with, with it, uh, exhaust comparisons. Like, I'm not gonna do all that. Um, if you wanna look that up or other people's channels, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. I'm just, you know, sharing my, you know, experience with you guys, uh, me and my Durango, and me going from, you know, stock to, um, straight pipe, so. And when I say straight pipe, it's still gonna have the cats on it. So I know a lot of people gonna say, oh, it's not true straight pipe because it's not, you know, cat delete and then all the way back straight pipes. Yes, it will still have the cats, but I will not have the mids and I will not have the rear resonators. Um, I'm probably gonna have to pick out some, some uh, exhaust tips from what they have. What I wanted to do was use my five inch carvings, but um, they're still purple. So I got to take them to a shop or I can do it myself really. All I need to do is sand it, prime it, and then, uh, you know, spray them. Um, but we want to do, uh, I think she said red tips or something. I think she might want red tips on the uh, exhaust. So we're going to get that done. Either the shop going to do it or I'm going to do it. 
I haven't decided yet. You know, might be a little weekend project for me, um, which would be fun. I did it before. I painted my engine covers in my uh, scat pack, so I can pretty much paint with no problem um, as long as I don't get no uh, no runniness. Um, but I may leave it up to the pros. I, I don't know yet. I haven't decided. So stay tuned on that one. But for now, like I said, I might have to choose some of their exhaust tips. Um, or I might just stay with the stock ones. I don't even know. Because um, that really don't matter right now. Um, as far as, you know, making a difference in the sound. It'll just be literally for looks in the rear. So it just won't have those small stock tips. But we'll see. Um right now let's just get there let's just get the exhaust done um and we're gonna see how it turned out um if you're new to the channel though go ahead and smash that like button subscribe button right now um before we even continue this video because i appreciate all the support um you guys are great um people sticking with me even though you know i, I don't have a hellcat no more but i know you guys shocked that you know i went the m route on my new vehicle but guys trust me it's the best overall car out there for the price range that i was looking so i'm extremely happy about it i love the car um i let the wife drive it to work today while i took the rango to get this done but like it's gonna be featured on the channel um that is the feature car um we're not gonna go crazy with it but we're gonna do some things to it it's definitely gonna be faster it's definitely gonna have some wheels it's gonna have some suspension done um but i'm gonna take my time with that because you guys know i got got some things going on you know coming up for the end of the year so we're gonna really pull up here guys let's see what's happening let's see what's shaking hopefully they can get us in immediately um so stay tuned <laughs> I see man they got me in um, I got here early when it first opened so if you want to come up here when it first open nine out of ten they're gonna be able to get you in right away um, you can get the work done on your vehicle like I say these guys do a good job up here um, the prices is pretty decent so you ready to get this thing cut up <laughs> they're gonna you know put the piping in there you know weld it and everything and give me some exhaust tips uh, going with the smaller tips for now because like you guys know i already got the the carving tips so i don't know i think we're just gonna be good with this for now um could have did chrome the big ones but i didn't want to do chrome so i gotta settle for the the uh the smaller ones in black but i think it's gonna turn out good so stay tuned guys we're gonna be done with this here pretty soon probably in the next half hour 45 minutes and then we out of here, man. Back on the road. You guys get to hear our sound. So stay tuned. switch cars with the wife um, and then go see about uh, getting tent on my car this thing is crazy loud Jesus I don't know if she gonna like this this might be a little too loud for mama Woo! this thing is crazy loud yeah Yo, 
I do not know if she gonna like this. I like it. But it might be too much for her, guys. <laughs> Sheesh. Oh my goodness. This thing is loud. That's in uh That was in paddle shift mode. Let's see how it sounds in drive. Cause I know she gonna just wanna be cruising and not really, you know, have it too loud for. That's not bad. That's not bad. That is crazy how loud it was. Like I said, just cutting off the resonators, cutting off the mid mufflers. Um, this thing is pretty rowdy. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty rowdy, man. Yeah, that is what I'm talking about. Now, this sound like a V8, guys. So, like I said, I love it. Um, hopefully, she enjoy it. Um, hopefully, it don't get on her nerves too much. I mean, because now the car is loud all the time. It ain't nothing she can do. But she was so used to driving that Scat Pack, man, with that Corsa Extreme. I mean, that, that's, that exhaust system was pretty loud. Um, I don't know if it was this loud, but it was pretty loud. Um, like I say, I, I told her, uh, this might not get that much good gas mileage no more since we went and deleted uh, those two things. But right now we average in 16 and a half, uh, which is pretty good. Uh, so the, the truck does pretty much good, good on gas. Um, it's just... It's definitely gonna be a difference now that it's uh, not as restricted and you know, the back pressure isn't there. Um, so it'll probably go down a couple couple miles per gallon, but we you know in these type of vehicles, any type of Hemi, uh, it's about miles per gallon, not miles per gallon. So she don't have to fill this thing up, I do. Um, so it'll be good. We're not worried about it, but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I know I enjoyed <laughs> the way this thing sounds. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe, turn on that notification bell to stay up to date with all the new content. Peace.